I'm Shannon Thrasher and this is 30 Second Tactics. Today, like the video title says, I'm going to talk to you guys real quick about uh, what's called dope or rifle dope. Um, some of you may know everything about this, some of you may have just heard that word and wonder what in the world it means, um, or just said it because it sounds cool. But, you know, first of all, it's an acronym, DOPE, it just stands for Data on Previous Engagements. Uh, I've also heard it Data on Past Engagements, but that doesn't really make a difference. Um, and, it, and it is just what it says, it's data that you're going to record, we'll talk a minute about what kind of data, um, on previous engagements, on, on past shots. And what the point of, of DOPE is, is for you to be able to predict, and of course, based on a lot of, of circumstances but the more you more dope you have the more experience you have the more time you have on your gun the more accurately you're going to be able to predict but predict where a bullet's going to go at a certain distance under certain circumstances um and of course in law enforcement and, and to some extent to the military too the most important uh shot you're going to take is that first shot now in the case of law enforcement snipers most of the time there will only be one shot if there is even that one shot thankfully most of the time we don't have to shoot anyone but if you have to take that shot that hostage rescue shot that high risk shot um you really 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 need to know exactly where that shot is going to hit and i'm not talking about oh yeah i can hit that guy from this distance but you know can you hit him exactly right here so it's going to do this and it's going to go there and if it passes through him it's going to go here and this hostage that's right next to him or even touching him is going to be safe through this event so this is the information you you track um and like i said we'll talk about what that is basically sometimes you'll see um and this is just one the FBI puts out, but it's a data book, a dope book, and it's just a way to record all this information I'm going to talk about. Um, you can use that. There's all kinds of uh, application type things you can use nowadays. Or uh, you can just get a notepad and just write down this information and, and keep a little note. Um, some people will go so far as to uh, cut the little one or two inch square out of the target when they're done shooting and, and tape that piece of target into their data book. Uh, as part of a record nothing wrong with that if you do it or don't do it um, just keep in mind with all law enforcement things if you generate something that can be subpoenaed some physical record then it may be subpoenaed so you know keep it professional keep the information that you need um, you know don't draw little pictures uh, in the margins of the book that are going to embarrass you in court um, so things you want to put in your data book of course uh, the first going to be the date you know when did this shot take place now is that important for you know where your bullet's going to hit it can be only in at the time of year but you're also going to cover weather and temperature and stuff it's more important for uh serving as a record of you know when's the last time you made that shot or when's the last time you trained or or practice or whatever you're going to say so if you have say a hundred recorded shots in your data book and there's no dates then you can't use that information or it would be more difficult for you to use it say in court to say look i shot 10 rounds a month for the last 10 months. That's where that 100 rounds came from. Or I shot 100 rounds a year ago and I haven't shot since. I mean, so common sense, put the date on it. Uh, put the time, of course, date and time. Uh, the temperature um, to include something about the weather. If it's overclassed, if it's sunny, if it's raining. Um, of course, the range you're firing at. Um, and, and thankfully in law enforcement, most of the stuff we record in, in our data books isn't going to affect a shot um things like temperature and uh weather and barometric pressure and stuff things that will affect every shot you take um the obviousness of how much it's affected is going to be much less at say 50 yards 75 yards 100 yards you know typical law enforcement sniper shots where at 850 yards yeah it's going to make a difference a, a noticeable difference but um of course the other thing you want to record is the ammo type um, you should be shooting, you know, specific ammo. Um, I don't like to use the word match ter match as much anymore because a lot of the match ammo out there that we used to use because it's what we call match grade, meaning it's, you know, ultra accurate. It was made for matches. It was made for competitions. And that's a whole other video I won't get into. But whatever round that you and your department decide is the one you're going to train with, the one you're going to shoot with, um, you know, record that uh, along with the other data. 
and uh, lot numbers because there can be a slight, which in life and death can become significant, difference in the performance of the exact same round, the exact same brand, the exact same weight and everything, just from different lot numbers. You know, they were made a year apart or made with a different batch of ammo or what have you. So record the lot and try to, uh, you know, if you have to change lot numbers, then reconfirm all your, your information. Uh, your lighting conditions, I hit on whether it's sunny or overcast stuff, but uh, your wind, that's going to be, you know, a very important factor, especially at your longer distances. Um, I have found that wind will affect you, you know, more than temperature, more than lighting conditions, more than just about anything else. As long as you have a stable shooting position, wind is going to mess with you more than anything else. Um, and then, of course, any corrections that you made to take that shot. If it was a heavy wind and you said, okay, well, I'm going to hold two minutes left or, or a mil left or whatever, and then you got a good shot based on that hold, then make sure you record that so you're not looking back later and saying, oh, I held dead center and hit dead center because that's not what happened. Um, and like I said, this is more important for longer shots and more most important for cold war shots. So, um, you know, follow your department policies as always. I'm not saying record every shot. I'm not saying record any, no shots. Um, but if it was me, I would say, you know, at a minimum, record your cold bore shots, different distances, all those other factors that we talked about. So I hope that kind of uh, explains to you just in a quick little lecture what dope is. Um, if you guys need more details, you're interested in this kind of video, let me know. Um, we can crank something out uh, with a little more detail, show you some different formats for the data books, uh, show you the actual, you know, making the, the dope corrections on your scope and stuff. But for now, guys, that's what I have for you. As always, work. Train, repeat, and stay safe.